Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am excited. I'm excited for this video because today I'm gonna to be testing out the concealer that a lot of you guys have asked me about. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour Concealer. It's a lot it's a lot of concealing anyway This is the makeup revolution concealer a lot of people have requested a video on this because supposedly this is like a dupe for shape tape Or something very similar to shape tape shape tape has been a very great product for me just because that's the product that I'm most picky about on my face because I want the most coverage but it can't be too drying because typically my under eyes are a little bit drier and that's this area is just where I want the most coverage on my face. So my go-to routine is to use a medium coverage foundation, very luminous, and then this is where I like to go in with my heavier concealer, full coverage concealer. So I ordered five shades of this foundation from Ulta. They are $7 a piece. C2, C3, C4, C6, and C8. So I'm gonna show you guys the tutorial using it with my face makeup and then I'm gonna check back in later tonight and give you the tea on how I feel like it looks after the end of the day. Okay, so I'm gonna be testing it out first to conceal on my under eye area. My usual go-to is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in the shade Neutral Medium. For this area, I like to use something that has more of a neutral to pinky undertone. So what I like to do when I try out a new concealer is basically color match it to my existing favorite concealer which is this one, and I matched shade C4 to it, which is light skin with neutral undertone. So this one seemed like a really good color match to my IT Cosmetics, so I'm gonna test that out in here. I already have my um, primer on and everything. I wanna make sure to use like products that I use regularly every single day, so I use my Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer, and I'm gonna be using the NARS Foundation. So this is the shade C4, and I'm gonna be testing this out right here on the inner corners. I have a little bit of darkness in here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the same shade uh, on my area here. I'm gonna buff it out with the ColourPop Small Fluff Brush. I feel like that did a pretty good job. These areas on me are a little bit drier. That's why I do like to use the Bye Bye Under Eye just because it's a little bit tackier, so it doesn't cling to any of these drier areas that I have on my under eyes. But I think it did a really good job concealing. This probably wouldn't be like a no makeup day concealer for me. All right, now to spot conceal on my face just to see how it looks by itself. I'm gonna use the shade C6. C6 is light to medium skin with yellow undertone. So something that doesn't have any pink in it for the rest of my face is what I like to use. This one, I think from what I ordered was the closest to my Sephora Make No Mistake concealer in the shade Caraway, which is what I like to use spot concealing days. So let me just... Any areas that I would want like a little bit of coverage on no makeup days? So I have a feeling I'm gonna like this concealer or prefer it better for highlighting over foundation. I have my different concealers that I like for spot concealing in my under eyes and I have different concealers that I like for highlighting and brightening after foundation. So Shape Tape has been one of my favorite concealers for a very long time, but I don't use it for anything else besides highlighting on the under eyes because it's not like hydrating enough for me to use on no makeup days, which is why I like to use the other ones that I have. All right, so this would be if I did just concealer, no foundation. I do this very, very often where I do not wear full face makeup, but I just like to wear a little sprinkle of concealer. For me, this the finish of this concealer is a little bit too matte and a little bit too dry for me to wear on like my minimal makeup days. That's why I prefer concealers that I don't set. So I know that sounds really weird, but like my Bye Bye Under Eye and my Sephora Make No Mistake Concealer, the Kylie Cosmetics Concealer, I really like. It has a very luminous finish to it. Some people I remember ask, were asking like, why do you want a concealer with a luminous finish? For those days where I don't use any powder and I don't put on foundation are days that I like to have luminous finish concealers. So right now, I think it did a good job concealing, but the finish is a little bit too matte for this particular use, but I have a feeling I am gonna like it for uh, the under eyes. So I'm gonna put on my foundation now. I'm still using this one. I am gonna go get a new one today though, a full size one. But there's so much product in here. It actually lasts a very long time, surprisingly. This is the foundation I've been wearing lately, the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the color Fiji. Cause I wanted to use something that like I've been using regularly that I know how it wears on my face and all that kind of stuff. All right, so I'm gonna do my foundation real quick. Off camera, you guys have seen me do my foundation plenty of times. Doesn't this foundation look good? Yeah. Do you like it? Now's the fun part. I set aside C2 and C6 to brighten the other eyes. C2 I compared to light sand shade from Tarte and C6 I compared to light neutral from 
shape tape. All right, so I'm gonna take shade C6, which is light medium skin tone with yellow undertone. I always like to use yellow for brightening and highlighting my under eyes. So we'll start with this one and see. I do like the applicator, it has a very large applicator on here. Sometimes I do like to do the really bright color just right on the inner corner. I feel like it kind of gives like a very catty look to the eye. Okay, and then I'm gonna buff this out here with this brush. I just like to, I'm like really excited right now. I don't know why, but this is just like a very exciting moment. Okay, so first I feel like these dry a lot quicker than shape tape. I can leave shape tape on my face for a little bit longer before it starts to dry. Not that big of a deal, but you know, worth throwing it out there. This does look really nice. She's pleased so far. I gotta get up on my face. Let's get let's get up in it a little bit more. So we have really great coverage going on here. Really, really nice. Let me put a little bit of C2. This is like the really bright shade right here, but just a little pocket, you know? So I like to buff it after I do the other one so it doesn't mix together too much. Just right there. I feel like it gives a little bit of a lift even more. I really, really like these shades. C6 is like the perfect color. I'll come back in and just kind of buff it out with the Beauty Blender. I actually ended up applying the foundation with this brush. I watched Desi's video and she mentioned she really likes applying this foundation with the brush, which I usually just always gravitate towards the Beauty Blender, but I, today I did it with the buffing one from Real Techniques and I really, really liked it. And it goes a lot faster when you do that, so I am here for it. Okay, so we're all blended in. Let me just take a little bit of the C6. I have so many different shades here, I keep like mixing them up. And I'm just gonna do it like right here because it's a little bit dark in there right now. And when I do my eyeshadow, I like to have the concealer right here before I do it, so that way I don't have to come in after. I just go like right there. So now I'm gonna set it and I'm gonna use, uh, this is my current go-to setting powder. I've had this powder for like years and this is how much I've used. This stuff is very affordable. It's like, I think it was like 10 or $12 for this bottle that lasts like a lifetime. So this is the RCMA no color powder. And I always like to just touch up one more time before I set. Make sure you don't set any creasing, but this isn't creasing like really at all. The inner corners, I always like to bake. It does make a difference. I don't know what happens in here, but something happens. So I like to bake the inner corner right there. And then the rest of the under eye area, I'll just do like a dusting of powder. That C2 color for the extra brightening is like, whew, right? Mm -hmm. Do you see the extra brightening that happened in there, John? How do you not see it? How do you not see it? So that's all done. Now I'm going to let this sit in there before I dust it off. I just want you guys to know I'm having a moment here. I haven't had a moment like this with a concealer in a long time. Oh no. Uh oh, there's something happening in here. I'm trying to think of what other product has done this, what other concealer. It looks like some of it like is coming off when I get really, really close up. It doesn't look bad like from far away or even from like right here when I look in a mirror, but when I get really close, it looks like some of it came off. This side looks fine. It's just this side over here that something is happening. Let's cross our fingers that it gets better though. <laughs> okay, so now for highlight, I like to highlight next. I'm gonna be using the Ofra Feeling Myself Highlighter Palette. I'm gonna start with Rodeo Drive and then add a little bit of Pillow Talk on top, which is a much lighter shade. All right, so we got the Rodeo Drive and now I'm gonna take a different brush. I'm gonna use the lighter shade Pillow Talk and add it just right to the very top of the cheekbone. So it's not on the whole thing, but just right, you know, when it hits the light, it's like, whoa. I'm gonna apply some of the flower blush. This is Peach Primrose. Kind of hoping that once I blend everything together, like that spot under my eye is gonna go away. All right, so I put some of the Peach Primrose on and now I'm gonna take some of the Butter Blush and kind of melt it into the skin. This is Natural Glow. Just taking some of this and I'm gonna fluff it over. To bronze, I'm using the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. Giant ass bronzer. So I'm pretty sure this brush is um, Japanesque. So I like to dust it into the hairline. So that way, cause if I don't and I just do it here, I'll have like kind of a little stripe right there where I didn't put bronzer. This color from Makeup Forever, I think is such a pretty contour shade. This is S112. And I've been using this to just do a really, really light, soft cheek contour. So it's not like too dramatic, you know? I haven't really contoured my cheekbones at all lately for like, I don't know, probably the past couple years or so, but you know, I'm just doing a little bit, almost kind of like using this as a bronzer, just to add a little bit of sculpting back in here. And then this shade's also really good for doing the contouring um, like on the nose or between the eyes. This is a, a Morphe E22, and I'm just gonna take this and contour right here. 
but this is such a great contour color. I'm gonna come back in with a little bit more pillow talk because I kind of buffed it out. You know, ooh! <laughs> I'm gonna do my eye makeup off camera just because I don't even know what I'm doing yet and it could end up taking a long time. Who knows, it's hard to say. Right now we're feeling really good. It looks incredible on camera. I'm like blown away. When I zoom into one eye, it's a little concerning, but we will see. I just finished up the rest of my makeup and let me just take a second to talk about this lip combination. I tried out the new ColourPop Luxe lipsticks. The ones that have the, they're regular lipsticks. They have little stars imprinted on the side. This is the shade Appy which looks kind of like a nude, but for me, this is a little bit of a deeper rosy nude color, but look how pretty that shade is. And then on top of it, I put one of the new Dose of Colors lip glosses. This is the shade On Repeat, which like these two just go together so perfectly. I mean, look at that. When I was trying to pick out what lip color I wanted, I was like, I want something neutral, but not something too nude. And then this magic just happened. This concealer, every time I look at like in a mirror, I'm like, wow, this looks really good. This definitely gives me the coverage that I want, but I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and show you guys the problem area that I'm having. This area right there, it just is a little bit different than what I'm used to. I feel like if you don't have dry under eyes, maybe if they were a little bit drier than mine, it might be a problem. I would still use this. I think it looks really good. It's just when I get close up. So I'm gonna try it out in different ways and see how I feel about it, but I would definitely recommend giving this a shot if you like shape tape, and this is only $7 per tube. This is better than like any of the other new concealers that I've tried in terms of highlighting and concealing after I put on foundation. I'm very, very impressed by it. All right guys, so here is my PM check-in. It's uh, almost time for me to get ready for bed, take off my makeup. But I wanted to check in and show you guys what my concealer, what my under eye situation is looking like. So let's bring it in. All right, so here's my face at the end of the day, super close up. I didn't blot, I didn't do any touching up throughout the day. You can see right here, that that's like probably some eyeshadow that fell down, but right here, it looks like, I don't know how to describe it, kind of like it's separating a little bit, but you don't see it on this side as much. I had a little bit of fallout from my eyeshadow. I had a lot of black eyeshadow on today, but I'm definitely gonna give it another shot. As of right now, I would recommend it. I think the coverage is good, the wear is good. I think there might just be some issues with the texture in my skin, because I do have different texture right here. It's not like it is on the rest of my face. So those are my thoughts and opinions on this concealer. This is my first time trying it out. It looks really good on top of my go-to products already. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. If you guys have tried out this concealer, if you plan on trying it out, what your thoughts are. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.